In the next few minutes, we're going to spotlight the way sponsors can interact with virtual conference attendees on the Conf Engine platform. Profiling your brand, face-to-face -face video chat, claiming goodies, broadcast messages, collecting leads, and more. So, you've signed up to sponsor an event on the Conf Engine platform. Let's give you a quick tour of what you can do and help you get set up. You'll find your sponsor page by clicking the Sponsors tab and then clicking on your company's logo. And you'll see a page like this. You'll see a place where people can leave you feedback and ask questions. You'll see that your banner image, your logo is there. Um, your handouts are over this side here. You've got your little description and your video is here. Now we didn't add a slideshow when we set this up. So let's go and just see how we can edit these things after we set them up. We go to our booth settings and then we click on edit details. And now we'll see our logo uh, and um, our social profiles here. We can edit this and it will allow us to update our URL, our business summary, our banner image, the video and the slides that we didn't add before. So we'll add a link to the slides now. So we've added the slides and now we just click save. Now we can also uh, add, add more additional users if we want to do that for our sponsors page and also add more handouts uh, if we'd like to do that as well. And then we click update details. And now we're back on our sponsor page, we scroll to the bottom and we'll see the slides available to everyone. Now depending on what sponsorship level you have, you may also have access to a video chat booth. So we go to booth settings to enable this. We can turn this on and off as required. If we're not available to uh, have someone in it, we can turn it off. But here we're going to enable it so that we can see what it looks like. And now you will see that there is a video call option. People can click on view table to see what's going on. And you'll see that there is one other person currently at the table. Um, if they are talking, you would be able to hear what they're saying. So let's join the table. When you arrive, the mic is muted by default and your video is turned off. So you need to uh, unmute your mic and turn on your video in order to be seen. And of course, you can also share your screen just uses the standard browser settings for sharing of entire screen, window or chrome tab. You just need to click on your uh, icon and it will bring up the video share and you'll see that we're now looking at the whole screen. And then to stop viewing the enlarged view we just click close. We also have a chat feature which lets you share text messages with others uh, in the video call. And once we're done, we can hide the chat again too. We can stop sharing, and then once we've finished the call, we can leave the table. Now, if we want to turn the booth off again, we just click on booth settings, and we can disable the video booth. You have the option to post as many updates to your sponsors page as you'd like. Here's what the messages look like on your page. And depending on your sponsorship level, you can broadcast a number of messages to the entire event, where it will flash on attendees' screens and show up with their notifications. Some of the other things we have is the option to offer goodies for attendees, so we'll click on Manage Goodies, and we will add a goodie. We're going to give away a free online course, give it a little description, and then we choose a category from a list of predefined options or if we want we can make our own um, then we choose whether it's a physical or a virtual product how many we want to make available to give away choose the dates which it's available during the event um, then we can make it active and select an image just to make it look pretty and there we go and then we click save we can add multiple goodies if we want to and they're really easy to reorder just by dragging and dropping. Just don't forget to hit save. We will go 
back to our sponsor page. Now as a um, guest visiting the conference I can now scroll down and see the goodies that are available. I'm going to click on the free course to claim that and you'll see that it now comes up as claimed for me so I can do that. I can only claim one of each of these goodies. Now go back to the sponsor admin, click on attendee details and claimed goodies. And we can now see that one of our online courses has been claimed. Let's click on view claims and you'll see here the details of the person who's claimed it, their name, an email address and whether or not they have received the goodie. You can also download this as a CSV to make it easier for processing. You can also get attendees to share their details with you at the click of a button with the drop business card option on your sponsor page. You can also collect leads by asking attendees for their registration ID and saving it with a note. You'll then be able to access a list of all the scanned users who have shared their details with you, including phone and email addresses. Curious about who's been interacting with your sponsor booth? Check out the leaderboard displayed on your page. For more detail, head to Manage Booth and Attendee Details. This shows you a list of visitors to your booth and scores them based on their interactions with the booth. The higher the number, the more the interactions. One feature Convention offers sponsors is space for a 15 second promotional video clip or still frame that auto plays before select sessions when someone clicks to join. It's an honor to have... Uh, so let's take a quick look at how you set this up. First, we'll upload the video we want to play. To do that, go to Booth Settings, Edit Details. Then scroll to the bottom of the page, and the video we upload should be 720p resolution, up to 15 seconds long, with a maximum file size of 10 megabytes, but really try and keep it as much under 5 megabytes as you can for smoother playback. Click Update Details, and now we're going to go to Sponsor Sessions. Noted at the top of the screen, you'll see the number of keynote and general sessions you can sponsor. Spots are allocated on a first come, first served basis. Here you can identify the sessions you want to sponsor by clicking the checkbox next to the one you want and then click save. And you're all set. And that's it for our quick overview of the sponsor features on the Convention platform. We hope that uh, you'll find them helpful and join us at a conference.